If you have hosted your website on Netlify and wondering if there is a way to add a contact form without making a lot of efforts or paying anything, then this video is for you. In this video, we will discuss using the Netlify forms feature to add a contact form to your website. Let's start with the simple HTML page that is deployed on Netlify. I have a GitHub repository for this, so the Netlify website will be updated anytime I push the changes. Let's try adding our contact form to this page and by the way, I have added all the CSS code to keep our focus on the contact form. So what we need to do here is remove the previous code and add HTML, um, not HTML, HTML5 and then here I will name it as contact form and then comes to the body section. So here I need the only one of only one diff container that should be um, container and then here I will name it so maybe I can zoom this a bit and to make this more visible and more clear and what I need to do here is I will make a form here and for now the action should be none we will make a div container and within this div container I make a label and this should be name and uh, it should also have a name for name and itself name and then I will have an input and this input should have a text uh, type text id equals to name and uh, as well as name equals to name and then placeholder as well equals to your name so that's uh, it for now if I save this and go to see the live version so this is how it looks right now and uh, if I zoom this a bit this is how it looks um, so Let's also add the next div container and then we can start this. So then the next div container is div and here we will ha have again a label with a message and inside this the text will also be message. And then the last thing is text area. So this text area should have a name message and then it should also have an ID that should also be message and same goes for the name. Um, and maybe we can skip the name for now but uh, we need a placeholder. So this placeholder should be your message. And then we can remove this because we do not want it to be resizable. So let's save this and uh, this is how it looks right now. And one last thing that we need to add here is a button. And uh, this should be the button to submit the text. So this should be send message and it should have a type submit. So if I save this, this is how it looks right now. So let's do the styling. And since I already added my uh, CSS here, so I just need to use apply these styles uh, to this. So first thing here is I have to link this. So this should be link CSS and style index.css not style. So if I save this, this is how it looks. Now the next thing is I have to add classes to the div container. So what I need to do here is class name equals to um, a class equals to input. So this is how it looks. And then same goes for this div container and I can make this input with this if I move back. So this is how it looks and uh, this is pretty good. We don't need to add any more styles since the focus is on Netlify forms. So with this we can add the code and then commit the code and I am using this npm package called minimal commit. I can make this a feature and say add message box and then push the code. Um, to the github so what changes are done as you can see uh, add message box and then let's go to the netlify so right now this is currently building so this is completed and if i now check the website um, and this is how it looks let me zoom out so this is how it looks now if i do anything this will not work so if i say run and uh, hey there and I send the message, nothing works here. That is because of multiple things. One is we have to set up Netlify here, form here. And then before that, before we do any changes here, we have to do one other thing that is inside this code. So for that, uh, right now, this is a simple HTML form without anything about Netlify. So this is just a simple HTML form. So let's make it um, a Netlify contact form. So for that, uh, first thing here is in the form, we give a need to give it a name. In Netlify, we can have multiple forms and each form should have a name. And this is the name with which we can see that. So in this case, um, if on Netlify website, it will be shown as a contact form. So first thing is name. And another thing is data dash Netlify equals to true. So this is uh, an attribute that gives Netlify an idea that this is a Netlify form. So that is one thing. Um, our form is complete by now, but another thing that we must do is input type equals to hidden so this is to avoid spam and bots and we should call this uh, name equals to form name and then this value should be equals to whatever the name of the form is so that's it now with this let's also 
um, add the code and uh, push the code. So again, MCT um, feed and this should be add Netlify contact form and push the changes. So once we push the changes, let's go back and uh, refresh the page here. So now we can see that this is again building. So let's wait for this to complete and then we can see what to do next. So this is completed and if I go back to the page and refresh this, nothing happens here because we did not add anything that can be shown here. But we have, we did add some things that can help us setting up Netlify forms. So with this, let's go to the forms on the Netlify website and then here we can already see an active form that is contact. No submissions for now. So let's uh, go ahead and add a submission and uh, here I can add a name and then hit there for now. And let's see what happens when we click on send message. And this says, thank you, your submission has been sub received. And if I now refresh the page, we can see a submission here with the name as gone and message here there. So that is how you can make a submissions and uh, use Netlify forms to set up your own forms. Now, maybe you do not want to see this default message with the Netlify theme and you want to set up something of your own. So that is also possible. So for that, let's do that. So again, let's go to a project and then add something. So we can call this send.html and then type here HTML and then um, contact, not contact, form send. And then with this, let's uh, go to the body section. And then just for now, let's uh, make this super simple and say, your message has been received and save this. And then if I see this on the localhost, so this should be send.html. So this is how it looks. So I want that when someone submits a message, as someone submits a form, this is the page that they um, should be seen. So they should see. So for that, I go to index.html and then here in the form, I can add an attribute action and this should be send.html and save this. And with this, Again, um, add the code and then push the code. So this should be uh, custom sent page. And with this push the code and this should again take a few seconds. And then once this is deployed, we can see if this is working. The changes has been deployed. So let's go ahead to the form section and to the contact. For now, we just have one response. Um, so let's go to the contact form and uh, refresh the page to make sure that um, the changes has been updated. And then here type again, for now I can use contact and then hit there. And then if I send this, we should be able to see the custom page. So that is how it works. With this, let's go back to the submission and refresh the page and we should be able to see the new submission that is here. Now, one last thing is every time someone makes a submission, uh, send a message in the contact, it is seen here, but you have no idea of that message until unless you visit this page. So there is also a solution to that. And for that, what we can do is move back to the forms and here we can go to the site and usage. And then here we can redirect all of our responses. So here in the, under the form notification section, we can click on add notification and we have three options. We can do either email notification, Slack integration, or outgoing web books. So the easiest way is email notification. For example, if you want these notifications or the messages to be redirected to our email. So for in this case, we can uh, add our email here. And then the next thing is we can select a specific form or we can click on any form. So in this case, we just have one form and then save this. So now every time someone makes a submission, I will receive that submission and on this me at hadak.dev. But apart from this, if you want to have um, to use a hook or with a post request, you can also do that. And as well as you can also use the Slack integration as well for this. So that is how you can get notifications and redirect them towards your email Slack or have a custom web hook for that. All right. So that is it for this section. Let's now move on towards how to set up these forms in React.js applications. All right, so talking about React application and using Netlify forms within the React. So here I already pushed the code to GitHub and as well as I already uploaded the code and deployed it on Netlify. And this is the preview version or the deployed version that you can see right now if I zoom in a bit as well. So the next thing is I go to the app.jsx and I will remove all of this code so we can have the form here. So the thing before this is I will start the dev server here. So for that npm run dev and open the server in the localhost. And this is what we have right now. So let's go ahead and remove all of this code from here. So this starts from the div container to this div container. And let's again add this div container. And with this, let's uh, also remove this and then these things as well. So once we're done with this, let's uh, paste our CSS code in the app.css. 
and here I have updated over app.css. So let's head back to the app.jsx and here let's start again with this div container and within this div container maybe I can name this class name should be container and then here um, let's type something hello just to see if our code works css works and yes this works but there is some more styling that we also need to remove so for that we have to go to index.css and remove all of this save and here we go so with this let's uh, move ahead to our index.jsx and then here we can again type uh, input uh, maybe before input we need to have a form because we will need a form and then inside the form we have we should have an input with the label here we will have for attribute with the um, value of name and then this will also have the value of name and then right after that we have type text and then id equals to name and so this is basically the same thing as what we did before so i am going to fast forward this we are done with our form and here we can see this so this is again a dummy form and nothing about netcafy so another thing that we need to do before we add things related to netcafy is we have to add states so that it is being controlled by the states the data we have so for that what i can do here is i will um, use states here so this will be name and set name and which should be use state and initially they are empty and same goes for the message so this should be message and set message and this will be use state and empty then we can go to our input and then here i can give it a value of name with on change equals to e and this is going to be an anonymous function where set name is equals to e dot target dot value and save this and then the next thing is we go to the message section and then same thing here so value is equals to message and on change equals to again an anonymous function where we pass set message that is equals to e dot target dot value so with that um, if i type something this works and let's also make sure that this is the data is being saved to the state so i can do console log name and message and let's open our inspect and let's see if this works so let's go to the inspect and then here i can type something here and uh, we can see this is working so that's the same thing here and this also works so with that we have a small error that is uh, html4 so let's uh, quickly fix this so this should be html4 and save this with that we have everything set up and uh, let's push the code so now it's time to add the netify things so here is the thing that is usually the confusion and uh, people do not really get how it works because if we go with the exactly the same process as we did for the static website that is uh, in the form we add the uh, data netify equals to true etc so in that case this will not work so the solution here is this should be again name equals to contact and then post equals to method equals to post because this is going to be a post and then input equals to type hidden and this is again for the spam protection or bot protection and form name and then value equals to contact so this is done for now and then the next thing is we have to go to our index.html that is this one and by the way i have created this project with wheat if you have created this project with create react app your project structure might be different so if in case you're wondering why is this different that is because i have created this project with wheat we go to the index.html and right before the script or right after the div container we add a form here and uh, there we have name equals to contact and data dash netify equals to true. So this is needed because otherwise this will not work if we do not add this here. So we need to have name equals to contact and data equals to netify true. So if we do this, this means that netify will be able to detect that this is a form that is being handled by netify and name contact means to give it an idea of that. This is uh, the same form. All right, with that, once we are done with this, so the next thing here that we can do is we can create a div container here and this should be again class equals to input and then here we should also do type input type text with the name with the same thing that is id equals to name and name equals to name and then the next thing here is we again create a div container here and here we can do text area uh, with id equals to message and name equals to 
message so this is again the exact same thing that we have here the exact same form but uh, we do not need to add a class here because the thing is we have to hide this form because we do not need this form to we do not want to show this form this is just to show that this data of app.gsx contact form which are saved in the states is being served to netcafy so with that let's save this and let's commit the code so let me stop the server and push the changes so mct and uh, i can make this a feature add netcafy contact form and let's push the changes so once we are done with the changes let's go back to netcafy and refresh the page and we have the server currently building so let's wait for this so once this is published let's go to the forms and here now we can see a contact form and as usual there is no data so let's go back to the site and open this site again in the new page and let's type something here so again here there and send the message and let's see what happens so we can see your form has been received and let's go back and then go to the forms and here in the form we can see a response here so if i expand this i can see name of run and message here there so with this way we can have forms in react using the netify forms so that is it for today give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i hope to see you again in the next video